and action. Can I do it? All right, and action. <laughs> okay. Autism is a developmental uh, disorder where the um, nervous system doesn't develop quite right. A child's born with uh, different degrees of disorder, ranging from a child's going to remain nonverbal all the way up to the geniuses at Silicon Valley, Einstein, Mozart, and a lot of other famous people like that that were really quirky but very creative. Temple is different. She's not less. And that's the way I feel about my son. He's different. He can do a jigsaw puzzle faster than I can see him put the pieces together, yet he may have challenges in, in explaining something that's happened in his day. He's different, but he's not less. You know, Temple became my hope in a, in a very dark period of my life. My son had just been diagnosed with autism and I was given Temple's books. It really became my singular source of hope at that point. One parent said to me that their child went to college because of one of my books. Um, I get, you know, say that a lot of the information I give them has really helped them. So what I've tried to do is take my personal experience and combine it with scientific research and provide practical information. Temple has been an extraordinary hero for me and I thought it would be a great idea to um, tell her story um, in a bigger way. My name is Temple Grandin. I'm not like other people. I think in pictures and I connect them. Oh, I thought the movie was fantastic. I think the movie shows autism very accurately. It shows the visual thinking accurately, it shows um, sensory problems, and the anxiety very accurately. Claire Danes became me. I mean, she went way beyond just learning the lines. One of the things that was compelling to me um, about her story was the machinery that she just designed for slaughtering the animals. This is totally amazing, right? I mean, she came in and, and just had this completely different perspective on how to accomplish this particular mechanical task and, and just provided a major innovation to that field because she saw the problem really, really differently. We received thousands and thousands of emails from parents saying for the first time they understood their own child. People ask me how I like all this attention. I said I consider it a responsibility. I've got a lot of kids that uh, look up to me and I try to write back to them. You know, they said that I've inspired them to succeed in school. If I could succeed, then they could succeed. There's still a lot of research that's necessary in this field to really understand what's going on. And by making the public aware of the magnitude of this problem, uh, it helps to uh, bring in funding for scientists. This past June, our research group at Coles from Harvard Laboratory, led by Mike Wigler, detailed the most comprehensive genetic blueprint of autism to date. Our hope is that we can use this to tailor treatments to autistic children and give them a better outcome. I first became interested in autism about five years ago after my son was diagnosed with it and I decided to move my research into this area. Having a role model like Temple Grand and gives me and my family hope and inspiration. Temple is one face of autism in adulthood that helps people with autism and families living with autism look to what's possible. She didn't overcome her obstacle, but she learned to work with her obstacle. And I think that she can be an inspiration not only to people with autism, families with autism, but anybody that is ever faced with a challenge.